What is up guys? Today I wanted to show you guys how to properly set the lighting on your HyperX Quadcast S. You're going to need to download the software which I'm going to show you right now. So let's get right to it. Go ahead and go to your browser, whatever browser you use, and just type in, you know, HyperX Quadcast. We're going to go here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go ahead and go to the main website. I'm going to scroll down until it says download. This is going to take me personally. I don't probably for everyone. I want to go to the Microsoft Store and open that. And then we're going to go ahead and launch the site. Now you're going to go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded, but this is the HyperX Ingenuity Beta. This is still in beta. So I don't know what they're working on, but they are still in beta. You know, there's some things they got to do. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out in the future. Now, real quick, the audio is pointless. There's nothing you can do here. Uh, we have polar patterns, which you can't change here. I can click on them, and they don't do anything. Uh, mic monitoring, you can't click You know anything there. Headphones, nothing. Um, the only thing you can really change in the audio section is mute and unmute. And change the mic volume, which is kind of pointless because there's, like, there's a mute button. I'll try and show you guys here. There's a little mute button on the bottom, which you can click. There's the game control on the top. And then here, right where my finger's pointing, right right here, there's actually, that's where you change the polar patterns that you see down at the bottom. Um, or I guess in the middle of your screen. So there's really no point. So it's already on the hardware itself. Uh, so the software is kind of useless as far as audio goes. There's like nothing I've been able to do here. Um, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the lighting. So let me get right to it. We're in the lighting. And what I want to show you right now is just a little bit of how to change specifically the two colors. So we're going to go solid. We're going to add that. We're going to mute these. And then I'll, I'll explain. In fact, I'll, I'll just delete all this. Okay, so we're in the light section. And we're going to add effect. This is a solid tone. And what I want to show you guys right now is that you don't have to just have the one solid tone. As you saw, there's lots of different cool little things you can do here. There's blink, cycle, which you know just goes in and out. Lightning, which is like a pulse almost. And then wave is like the original like RGB kind of lighting going on there where just all the lights are going through it. But I just want to show you real quick that uh, we can do two different lights on solid here. And that's pretty much for everything. Every it, it has two lights, one on top, one on bottom, and that's what we're working with with all these. Now, for that, in order to change the two lights, you have to go from all lights to selection. That, you know, brings them all down, and then you just click one or click the other. And you unclick it, and then you have one on the top. So, in order to add the secondary color, if you want to have two different colors, we're going to go ahead and turn that to green. I'll add an effect. We'll add solid, add. There you go. Now you got your second one. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to click the bottom here. We're going to change it to blue, selection, bottom, there we go. Oops, there we go. So now we have the green on the top, which is the this one. Maybe I'll rotate them, that way it's not as confusing. Where's this one? There we go. Okay, so we got green on top, blue on bottom. You can change it to whatever color you want, both green, uh, purple, watermelon, whatever you want to do here. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. The, like, we got the two lights. You can change it whatever color you want. But you can get a little bit more creative with it. And that's what I'm going to show you real quick as well. Uh, this is basically just how you change them to, to do different colors. So you can play with them. You can even right here add a color. So let's say you like this one, right? You can go ahead and add that. And it'll put it in as a saved one. And then if you want to delete any color and you don't like that color anymore, you can right click it. It'll pop up with a little delete tab right here and you can just you know delete that away now I use the purple and orange this is more of a red because the, the orange doesn't <laughs> show up so you have to make it kind of darker to make it look the type of orange that I wanted at least so we're gonna go ahead and add something cool right now I'm just gonna show you this and you can mess around with it you can do whatever you want there's, there's just so many options I can't show you every single one because there's just there's too many but this is what this is my favorite one we're going to add two cycles, right? 
And what I like to do is I want purple and orange. Those are like my, my standard colors. I love purple and orange. I love blue and orange. I think it's like a sunset or sunrise. And it's just so beautiful. So I want to do that. Uh, plus, you know, my, my desk and everything actually has kind of that pattern going on anyway. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and set them both to selection. Bottom. Actually, we'll do, we'll do top. That way it just makes more sense here. Bottom and top. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll set these. I want five purple. Oh, yeah. So these are little bars here. This is, this is what I wanted to show you guys. These are little bars here that show you how far on the scale uh, they're going to change colors. They're going to go from this one to this one, you know, all the way down the line. And you can change each individual bar to different colors if you want. You can have a green. That way it goes from purple to green to blue, back to purple if you want, to orange, whatever. You can literally change it to whatever you want. Um, and you can even move them around. So that way it kind of, you know, now you have a longer a longer time that's going to be in this color that you want and a shorter time where it's going to be in the green. Change that over here. Now we have it blue. See, now you get more red and purple. So it, it you can change all these different little things here. You can even make it less visible. So it's a little bit, it's not as, not as bright as it normally would be, but I like to keep them as bright as possible. And then what I also like to do is I'm actually just gonna delete it because I like the, the pacing that it has right there. So I'm just gonna go back, add, we're gonna do this, selection, top, boom. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them all to purple because this is the color that I like. And then the last four, we're gonna do orange. And we're gonna change the speed to 75. That way it goes in a different quickness. So it's not always gonna be the same colors. And since we have purple first, we're gonna do this one as orange first. And again, I like the pacing, so I just keep it original there. Oops. And there we go. And now that I got it all ready to go and it's all nice and modified with what I like. Oops, sorry. Got to keep make sure that they're clicked on there because if you click literally on the side, it's going to turn it off. It's going to think you're trying to make it not on that, right? You can click it again, whatever. But yeah, for some reason, it thinks that I'm not wanting it there. So once you're all set up, click save to microphone. You'll see it loading here and then I'll have a little check mark and you're good to go. I'll do that one more time just so you can see it loads check mark good to go then you want to close it. it'll say runs better when minimized to taskbar you can always change this in settings i don't keep it minimized i've noticed it doesn't make any difference to me i have the setting saved oops i have the setting saved and it's it's good to go after that so i'm just going to go ahead and close it we're done here and uh yeah now you get the cool little light show on my microphone and yeah so i hope this video helped if it did I actually do have a review on this specific microphone uh, along. It's actually like a versus on this one versus the original. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. I'll leave like a link up here or, or down there or something. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But uh, yeah, you guys have a good day or night. And I'll see you next video.